Well, this is something I can guarantee you won't see every day, which is aphids. Mm -hmm. Two mothers and their youngsters all together grazing on a leaf. It's a camellia leaf. And um, you don't usually see them on camellias. But this one definitely, these ones definitely got onto it. I think they're black bean aphids. And so they might actually try their luck on a few different types of plant. But here you can actually see I've removed the leaf. It's not a very big leaf. I'll just put my finger in it for scale. And you can see, uh, there you go. You can see it quite clearly there. And what happens is with aphids, uh, there are two generations where there are no wings on their females and they are uh, What would we call them there? They give They have what they call virgin births. They're actually They give birth to youngsters. They literally give birth. They don't lay eggs and then the youngsters grow up uh, Shedding their skin as they go and then they uh, they will do the same thing, but then there'll be a, the third generation, there'll be wings and there, some will be male and some will be female. Whereas for the other two generations, they're all female. And so the wing gen generation has to, they have to fly and they have to find uh, mates. And that's because uh, they need genetic variants. If you don't have variation in DNA, DNA starts to die. You need to make sure that you're breeding out and that's how they do it. And, uh, but they can produce hundreds of thousands, in fact millions in a couple of generations. Uh, and the youngsters grow very quickly and they have their young very quickly. Now these are, as you know, tiny. I have them on just parked on a lid here. I'm going to put them somewhere safe where they won't be causing trouble to the camellia or any of the other plants. But here you can see them all, two big females and a load of youngsters. Really fascinating creatures.